Okay, right here is a 1988 Liebherr R974. The R974 was first introduced by Liebherr in 1986. Available from Liebherr in either front shovel or backhoe configurations, depending on what the customer preferred, the R974 was designed to swing a bull clam ranging anywhere from 4.7 to 8.1 cubic yard capacity in front shovel configuration and swing a rock bucket ranging anywhere from 3.2 to 7.8 cubic yard capacity in backhoe configuration. Right here you can see the stick section on the R974, which has been removed off this unit for transporting the excavator. On the top of the boom, here you can see the two stick cylinders, which will push the stick in and out. To help give you an idea of the size of an R974, this excavator measures 12 feet 9 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 14 feet 11 inches wide. Right here you can see where the two boom cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. And if you look over here, on the side of this machine superstructure, here you can see the metal plate that says Liebherr America Incorporated, and it lists the machine's product identification number and the model number, you can see where it says R974. Twenty inch, twenty four inch, or thirty inch crawler shoes were available for the R974 depending on what the customer preferred and also depending on the type of ground conditions that this excavator would be working on. This machine has a top travel speed of 1.9 miles per hour. Now let's go up on top of the R974. From here you can get a good overview of the inside of the operator's cab on the R974. Okay, these two foot pedals that you see directly out in front of the operator's seat control the travel functions on this excavator. Each foot pedal controls each individual track. This third pedal that you see over here, off to the left side, controls the swing brake. Off to the right side, here you can see the control panel with all of the gauges and warning lights, which will monitor this entire excavator when it's in operation, and will also alert the operator in case of a malfunction. 
The two hydraulic joysticks that you see off to the right and left sides of the operator's seat control all of the digging functions of the backhoe attachment in the front, or if this machine were set up with a front shovel attachment. And from right here, you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running an R974. Now, let's take a look at the powering system on this excavator. The R974 is powered by a Cummins NTA855C water-cooled direct injection, turbocharged and after-cooled inline six-cylinder diesel engine, which you can see right under here. And this engine produces 382 flywheel horsepower for this machine. The engine on the R974 drives three pumps on the pump drive, which consist of two splitter box mounted variable displacement axial piston main pumps, each rated at 109 GPM to power the front attachment and travel functions, and one variable displacement swash plate pump rated at 46 GPM to power the swing function, which you can see right here. Mounted on the left side of this excavator, located directly behind the operator's cab, is a 190 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here. And here you can see the two gauges, to show the operator or mechanic how much hydraulic oil is inside of the tank. From here you can get a good view of the hydraulic system on the R974, which features monoblock directional control valves with integrated primary and secondary safety valves for each function. Hydraulic filtration is accomplished by two filters in the return line and one high pressure filter between each main pump and valve block. Okay, now let's go up top. From the top deck of this machine, you can see all of the hydraulic hoses that run out to power the backhoe attachment in the front. And mounted on the right side of this excavator is the hydraulic oil cooling unit, which you can see right here. Right here you can see the cap to fill the diesel tank with fuel. The R974 has a 211 gallon diesel fuel tank installed on it. And located directly behind where the boom pins mounted in between the superstructure is the swing motor, which you can see right here. The swing system on the R974 features an independent closed loop swing circuit with torque control. And inside of this compartment, here you can see the engine radiator. 
and directly below it, you can see the batteries for the machine. From underneath here, you can see where the two Liebherr axial piston travel motors are located. One on each crawler frame, and this is what will propel each individual track. And if you look, you can see where the hydraulic lines run from the motors, through the car body of the machine, and then up to the hydraulic system to power the motors. And from here, you can get a good view looking up at this machine superstructure. And on the back of this machine's counterweight, you can see where it says 974 Liebherr. And the overall operating weight of an R974 in backhoe configuration, as you see right here, can range anywhere from 72 to 74 tons, and can range anywhere from 76.9 to 78.9 tons in front shovel configuration. The R974 remained in production until 1989 when Liebherr upgraded this machine to the R974 Latronic model. But there she is, a 1988 Liebherr R974.